think it's great this young to have them start asking questions. A lot of times I know when I grew up it was people telling me what to do and what to think, um, but this kind of gets them geared up for their next step in first and second and on through life in general to think out of the box um, that they can disagree with others and we can still be kind about it. The learning process changes because it's not coming out of a textbook, it's what's around the world and things that they're interested in. It's not me telling them what they should be interested in. It's designed by them. So we're doing gardening um, and it's kind of an ongoing project. So we started last year and my first grade class last year wrote a grant to buy a composter and then they started composting and then at the end of the year they planted and then as they got into second grade this year they got to harvest all of their produce and so this year is a continuation of what they started. Um, we're starting to compost and we're going to plant another garden hopefully to give away um, some of the produce that we plant um, and to start a community garden. So when we get into learning about the garden and getting, just getting in the dirt and growing, we learn about um, weather, we learn about dirt, we learn about um, the world and how um, everything is connected. Um, but I also teach um, community and I try to help them learn how we have to work together, um, things to grow, but also um, for things to get done. To be involved in our garden project, we always um, love the help when we um, go out and garden and plant and um, we always need people to come with us and help us plant and harvest. Also, our one of our goals is to build a greenhouse and so we need donations to build a greenhouse so we can start planting earlier in the year and the kids can actually see how their plants grow and can take care of their plants throughout the winter when it's cold. More um, garden plots, um, raised garden plots, so that we can invite more of the community to come and garden with us. Uh, my real world learning course is called LEAD and that stands for Leadership, Exploration and Development and the whole purpose of the class is to help prepare um, students to be in positions of leadership and learn how to be leaders in our community now and also in the future. The Strengths Finder test to figure out their five top strengths as a person and we examined how they could use those in the different aspects of leadership, whether that's in sports programs or class officers or just being um, senior leaders or on campus and in our community or at church. And they were challenged to find ways that they could grow in those areas of leadership that they felt yeah. they were called to be leaders. How are you going to say no? And then, uh, this trimester, the students have been challenged with the task of applying those leadership skills that they've learned into finding projects that they are passionate about that they want to help uh, in the community. So some students are looking at maybe doing, um, helping pets get adopted and partnering with you know different um, pet uh, organizations. Um, some students are looking with partnering with our hospitals or children's hospitals to see where there's a need. We're building water filtration systems for Fiji and for those that are less fortunate in remote villages. We're also making books for the Mobile Kindy, which is a kindergarten based program of a van that drives around to the um, remote villages and teaches kindergarten classes to those that wouldn't be able to get it otherwise. View. Now they have a bigger world view of what it's like, um, when, especially when we first started and they would come in and I wash my hands and I turned off the water so the people in Fiji could have water and just have them be more focused on how can we save this because we want other children to be able to benefit. And when we talk about they can't go to school because they're not well enough and oh well school's a privilege. It's We get to go to school all the time and them now looking at okay what can we give to others. So for somebody willing to help us or wondering how to help us, we are looking for Lowe's, Home Depot gift cards or um, a way to help finance our filtration system. And so the children will be going to Lowe's, to Home Depot to buy all of the necessary resources themselves so that they can see from the very beginning of how do I get our supplies to creating it in the classroom. We're also looking for people to come in and help us build. Stop human trafficking. 
and the STOP stands for Students Telling Other People About Human Trafficking. It started with an education type real world learning so that I can educate the kids on what's going on around them and that then from education that they could move into spreading awareness. Yeah, well, I'd say the main thing the kids get is an education on this topic because every single one of my students has told me. I didn't even know what human trafficking was at the beginning of the year and at the end. We did self-defense classes to, that were specifically focused on preventing ever being kidnapped or abducted. The most beneficial thing that I've done with this is the guest speakers. I've had at least 10 guest speakers come in to talk to the kids and educate the kids about what they're doing to combat human trafficking in each of their organizations. So we've been able to do some incredible outreach with this uh, Real World Learning Project. There's lots of great ways that someone can help our classroom. Uh, we have a center day uh, this next semester where we will have a little center set up for our little ones to go to, whether it's a bank or um, to be an architect or a grocery store. And they go to each center and spend some time there to see if that's something that they're interested in. Uh, so if you want to volunteer your time there, we would be happy to have you. Also, if there's something that you specialize in that you think is interesting and have a passion to share that with youth, uh, we would welcome you in our classroom to share that with us too.